Welcome back to Making Men Academy. My name is Isaiah Keen, and today we are talking about self-compassion and self-care because a lot of the time as young guys, we can do both of these things completely wrong. I know I really can. It gets annoying sometimes and frustrating and I can really get hard on myself and down on myself and I can really burn myself out because I'm not focusing on these things in the right way. And so today we're going to talk about it because we got to clear up, we got to clear the air, we got to clear this up. This is very important. We've talked a lot recently about understanding your strengths, avoiding the enemy and extinguishing his flaming arrows of negative self-talk. And we've talked about our progress and our goals. And so now we got to take time to talk about our resting in here and in here. So first thing, I can become super focused on others. And I actually, let me back up, want to take this in two angles, like I said, mentally and physically. So let's talk about physically first. I can become super focused on others to the point where I exclude myself. I'm not taking care of myself. I'm not thinking about myself in the way I need to be. I literally become like a martyr for the other person and I will go and do everything that I can do for them to the point of my own exhaustion, burnout, and fatigue because I care about that person so much or I just care about people so much that I end up over expending myself for them. The Bible tells us to put others before ourselves, but we need in ourselves to put before others. Like we can't go and put our put others before ourselves and serve others if there's literally nothing of us to do that with, right? We need to have understanding of this because it's very important. Building into daily life an understanding and peace with our shortcomings is also important. I would love to go do, do, do. We all would love to do, do, do for everyone and be, be, be for everything, but we cannot do everything and we cannot be perfect. That is why God tells us to rest and why Jesus came and died on the cross for us to take our sins so that we don't have to do everything all the time because he tells us to rest and so that we don't have to be perfect because he did that for us because we he knows we can't and he loves us enough to actually come and do that for us. Like, what? So it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Having mental compassion for ourselves is really important because like we talked about when we mentioned negative self-talk, that's something I can do for myself a lot. I want to be amazing. I want to be a great person for everyone and show up for everybody and be the best possibly that I can be. And I want to do everything that I absolutely can do that is within my power. But we know we're not unlimited. We don't have unlimited reservoirs and reserves of energy. We got batteries, man, and they need to recharge. And we have mental fatigue too. We can't always be on top of our game mentally. That's why you drink so much coffee or consume so much caffeine, energy drinks, all of that stuff. All terrible for you, by the way. And I have a better option for you, so stick around. But we need to understand that we can't always do the things we want to do or be the things we want to be. And that's okay because we know it's already been taken care of for us. So let's look back in the book of Genesis real quick. We get so many answers just from reading the first couple chapters of the Bible. And yet everyone wanders around trying to figure out how the world started and why we're here and what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to live our lives. And it's like all right there, like literally, it's so simple. And then people try and like blah, blah, blah. So anyways, when we look in the book of Genesis, we see that God created everything and it was perfect. Now, God has always been, always will be, blows our mind, not something we can even comprehend as humans. Sorry, we can't. You can't. You just can't answer it. I don't know. I'll ask him when I get there. He's always been around. He has unlimited potential, unlimited energy, unlimited everything. Obviously, he created the entire world and the universe when there was nothing. But on the seventh day, he rested. He intentionally rested and he didn't have to but he wanted to show us that we need to do that and he instructs the israelites to mind the sabbath and keep it holy and also he had an entire month in the bible the seventh month in the book of leviticus my mom was actually just reading about it the other day and she was she and i were talking about it and it's like wow they take an entire month off in the year and for us that would be like july right they take an entire month off just to rest and just meh. and he gives commandments for that specifically and he also back then we had they had the atonements and all the things that they had to do according to the law so that they could be holy set apart from the Gentiles that were around them, from the pagans, the people, anyone that wasn't a Jew. He takes not only one day a week off, but he instructs them to take an entire month off. And we don't really do that anymore, but rest is really important physically and it's important mentally. So we need to understand 
that we have time we need to rest physically and time that we need to rest mentally. We need to rest our bodies so that we can show up for other people physically. And we need to have the mental rest in our sanctification so that we remember Christ is God as we don't need to be perfect. We can't always do, we can't always be, and that's okay because he is. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode real quick before my camera actually dies. I have down below a link taking you to a PDF where I talk about three core masculine traits to help you get your girlfriend, attract your dream girl, that godly, God-loving, God-centered, strong, stable woman that you want as a God-centered man. And by becoming this guy, I gotta really hurry up here, you can attract that kind of girl naturally. And so these things are gonna help you though with this mentality, they're gonna help you to pace yourself, to understand yourself and to have the mental presence and awareness i'm really watching this now where you can actually do these things that we just talked about and the benefit of that will be that you also get to attract the girl of your dreams so go down there go get the link in there copy and paste it or whatever type it in and i will send you an email with this pdf in it for completely free and i cannot wait to see you inside of that take it easy guys and i will see you later